G'day guys, you're with Craig. I know it's been a long time since I made a video. Uh, last year was a crazy year. I think everybody got quite busy with their businesses when COVID hit. Uh, anyway, things are sort of back to normal again now. I've got some new camera gear. I want to start making videos again because I uh, do really enjoy it. And I also want to uh, just update you a little bit about uh, what's happened to me since my last video, which was roughly 10 months ago. So uh, first thing is I actually sold my jet ski. I sold the Yamaha FXHO and in December I took delivery of a new 2022 uh, Fish Pro 170 and I've got to say I'm you know, really enjoying this, this ski. The uh, convenience, of having, uh, convenience of having the storage and being able to clip you know, fuel on the back and uh, all the rod holders and all that sort of stuff. I'm just uh, really, really enjoying the ski. Um, also finding because I've got quite a crook back that the ride for me is actually, uh, it just suits my uh, back a lot better than the, uh, the Yamaha. Um, the other thing is I've stopped guiding. So I was doing the guiding for six or seven years and I actually cut that uh, out last year. So that's given me a lot more time as well. It was getting quite tricky with uh, weather and coordinating times and all that sort of stuff. But uh, over the period I had some really great guide uh, experiences and I met some lovely people, went on some beautiful boats, so uh, I was really appreciative of that. Now, the next thing is I'm now selling reels. Um, I am selling uh, Poseidon reels and Next reels, and I've got to, uh, I've got a few of them here. I wanna sort of run through the range with you because uh, you, know, you don't sort of hear much about these reels. I've been using them for about three years. I really like them. Uh, I love the fact that you can get parts for them very easily. And I love the fact that the parts are very, very good quality and they're good quality inside. Uh, they have a great range and I want to sort of go through the range with you because there is some confusion around Next and Poseidon, both made by the same company. The company is called the RS Group. They're in Thailand. They are the biggest fishing distributor uh, in Thailand. They're a big, big company. And these things are really, really good. Excellent value for money, uh, easily serviced. As I said, got full range of parts held in New Zealand. Personally, I have two reels downstairs from well-known brands that I can't get parts for at the moment. So yeah, it's a big thing getting parts. So I'll run you through the range very shortly. Uh, and then the other thing is just to say, I'm going to try and make a bit more exciting videos, get to some different places. Uh, the I'll still make the videos of going out to the noises and you know, doing the usual stuff, because I'm sure uh, some of you still enjoy that. But uh, I want to sort of explore a bit more. I actually took the ski to Great Barrier Island uh, the other day. Uh, a fellow came over here by the name of Rick. Hi, Rick, if you're watching, uh, to buy some fishing gear off Facebook Marketplace. And he just said, we're heading at the barrier on Saturday. Uh, there's a few of us going. Would you be keen to join us? So I said, yeah. So we had a great day out there. Got stuck into some nice uh, kingies in the morning. You know, I was using my using the Poseidon reels for that, and um, yeah, so it was pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, let's go and look at these reels, and I'll go through the range. It won't take long, but there are some big differences between the different reels on the market, and I'd love to be able to have the opportunity to explain it to you now. Okay, let's, uh, let's run you through these reels, and we'll start off with the Ocean 50. So this reel... Uh, is their version of the Oshia Jigger, the Sol Tiga, and the reason I say that is it's got the automatic engage there. So as you turn that, that clicks into place. The same as you get on the Oshia Jigger. It's also got the locking system there, which like the uh, Oshia Jigger, if you click it in place, it just locks into place. It's not a clicker. Six kilos of drag, 5.1 to 1 retrieve. It weighs 380 grams. This reel has about 200 meters of 30 pound. They say you can get 500 meters of PE2 on it, uh, but it's an excellent little star drag reel. Great, great for slow pitch jigging, and that's the next Ocean 50. Okay, then this reel here is the next 200. This is what I'm using for slow pitch jigging. I love this little reel. Uh, 365 grams, it's a tiny little thing. It has got 25 kilos of drag, dual uh, carbon drags, and that is the cast control system which has been disabled. Uh, we disable them pretty much for most people that buy the reels because there's no need to have it in New Zealand. So in free spool, that's you know, spinning beautifully there. Oh, if you take the clicker off, uh, it'll spin easily there. So you can set the drag here. 
there is a strike position so you go up to strike you set the drag using that little uh, knob there by twisting you can you know work it out in your garage hook up to a bucket of water or wave and whatever and then when you want to put some hurt on you can sneak up over that if you wish and maximum drags up there now you know using maximum drag on these little reels you want to take a bit of care because uh, your line has to sort of you know be able to accommodate it as well and uh, I, I typically just use the reels in strike position uh, that's normally enough for me and then if I do need to you know put a bit of hurt on I can just notch it up one but yeah so I love this reel I've got it matched with the uh, mythic weapon slow pitch rod and it's a little beauty and I love the handle too the EVA handle lovely okay that's the next 200 then we're going to slip straight into the most popular reel in New Zealand which is the uh, Poseidon 50 SL now this reel has proven itself with the charter guys now for seven years uh, it is 7.1 to 1 retrieve it weighs 345 gram and it has a quite a good you know spool for uh, slow pitch jigging for kaburas they normally fish kaburas with it and up north they fish 200 gram kaburas and I was in with the distributors the other day and I saw one of these uh, ones come back for a service uh, it was five years old and the inside parts were just immaculate so you know if you get them service and look after them these are really really cool little reels twin drag and you can adjust the handle here so you can take those two off there and you can adjust the handle so that gives you more either more turns or more hurt on the fish whatever you choose to do so that's the 50 sl very very popular in new zealand that reel the next one they have is the 50 sj so this one has a slower retrieve, it's 6.3 to 1, 10 grams lighter. Uh, this reel's actually, I've just sold this one, so this is uh, going out to the customer on Monday. And very, very similar, has a different handle. As you can see there, the handle is not adjustable. So one's machined, one's sort of stamped, uh, you know, pressed. Uh, these are slightly cheaper than these, but, um, you know, these tend to be more popular. So, oh, that's the 50 SJ great reels beautiful handles and all the reels come with these little dinky you know bags to protect them so uh, i'll make sure i put that one back in before it gets delivered so we'll put that one to the side okay then the next reel we're going to jump into here is called a next race 3rs so this reel is slightly heavier uh it's 420 grams so the 50 sj if you recall was 335 grams uh, this one has a 6.3 to 1 retrieve. They claim you can get 500 meters of PE2 on there. Uh, maximum drag 20 kilos, so slightly less. It's only available in right hand only, but it's proving very popular because of its design. It's a very stylish looking reel. The EVA handle is very popular, and yeah, a really lovely, lovely reel. Okay, then what's next on the agenda? We go to the 300 series. So we got this one here and this one here now this is the Poseidon 300 I've been using this uh, reel for three odd years and this reel weighs 470 grams it has 20 kilos of drag uh, same system the free spools off so that you know just moves around freely set the drag etc nothing different there and I love this reel I've been using it for uh, jigging uh, for kingies and yeah it's a great great reel and uh, I had it service the other day. Inside was just you know, absolutely mint. It, um, yeah. So that's the, there. Now this one is being replaced with this reel, which is the next 300. Now this is 100 grams lighter, or close to 100 grams lighter. Five kilos more drag, so 25 kilos. Twin carbon drags, the same as or dual drag, same as the 300. Uh, you got the EVA handle there, and. You know, it's very, very similar uh, in what it can do. Uh, you could use this for jigging, you could use it for live baiting, you could use it for bottom fishing. It is, yeah, these are really, really cool reels. So this thing here, the weight of it, you could jig with this all day long and not even get tired. It's just a absolute beautiful little reel. So that's the next 300. And then next reel is the Poseidon 450. Now I'm currently using this as my main jigging reel for kingfish. Uh, I absolutely love this reel, and as you can see by the footage here, uh, you can really put some hurt on kingies with this, with this particular reel, particularly with the old bronze whales that are around this summer. So, you know, if you want a reel that you can use all day, that's got plenty of drag, 
then the Poseidon 450R is definitely worth considering. Now the only issue with these reels is that they are so popular when they come into the country they get snapped up straight away so you need to pre-order. You can see by the thumb width there it's perfect for jigging. Handle is really really grunty, easy to hold on to. Uh, it's got the same you know, lever drag system as the other reels, twin, uh, twin drag and the cast control on that one is uh, freed up like the other ones you just able to disable you can control the drag settings there by you know twisting that little uh, round knob uh, and it works the same you know as the other reels there but uh, my most favorite reel absolutely love it we go into the big the big boys which are these ones here this is the next 500s and these ones as you can see come narrow spool and a wider spool so um, so this one's clearly but you know a bit more suited for jigging and these reels would be great if you're you know, jigging deep water for puck or whatever. You can get a lot of line on there. You can see the size of the spool. There's heaps of line you can get on there. And uh, with 30 kilos of drag and weighing 490 grams. Yeah, so these reels have proved very popular in Northland. Uh, people love them. And they're, yeah, a great reel. That pretty much completes the range there. I'll just make sure I haven't missed anything. I don't think I have. No. Uh, there is this little reel here I'll just show you quickly. Uh, these are sort of probably more suited for, um, you know, if you want to get a, a, a reel for your wife that she's going to love. This little reel here is called the Poseidon and this is the 200 Mini. And we'll just take it out of its little packaging here. Uh, this is a little beauty. How's that for a cutie? So that's, you know, that's a great little reel uh, if you want something very, very small. Uh, it's got 20 kilos of drag, so you got no problems there. It's the same system, lovely, comfortable EVA handle there, and that's a little uh, the, the Poseidon Mini 200. So, you know, great for uh, the ladies really love this one. You know, teenagers, kids, or whatever who want to just get in because there's plenty of drag to stop a fish, but it's not too you know too bulky. So, that completes the range. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will, as I said, make more videos um, planning a trip up to the top of Coromandel, so that should be quite a good one. We're just trying to work out where we're going to launch from now and accommodation, etc. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Sorry it's been such a long time since I made a video. Uh, check out the new Peaks website. There's some products on there. I'll be planning to add more and more and more stuff uh, to it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.